right at this moment, there's a massive gravitational anomaly in space that is swallowing all of us in. The Earth, the Milky Way, and all our neighboring galaxies. Yeah, it's as ominous as it sounds. A cosmic come hither from something we don't quite understand, but we're all being dragged toward it. This is the Great Attractor, a gravitational anomaly about 220 million light years away in the constellation Centaurus. Will this great attractor crush us into cosmic dust or turn us into space spaghetti? Well, that's a great question, and one we get a lot, especially from my friend Bob who thinks every space object is out to get us. The great attractor isn't actually a physical thing we can see or touch. We can't even see it with our most powerful telescopes. Instead, it's a region of space that has a large gravitational influence. And when I say large, I mean it's pulling us and a bunch of other galaxies toward it at a speed of about 600 kilometers per second. That's about 2 million kilometers per hour, guys. At this speed, even my snail Gary would stand a chance at the Olympics. Now, this might sound scary, but remember, space is vast, mind-bogglingly vast. It's vast, no idea where to go. In human terms, even at these speeds, it's kind of like taking a leisurely stroll, a stroll that will take billions of years. So no, the Great Attractor won't be swallowing us up anytime soon. We're more likely to be wiped out by our failed attempts at answering all of your questions. But don't let that stop you from commenting below. We read almost all of your comments. There are tons of theories about what the Great Attractor could be. A cluster of galaxies, a massive black hole, or even dark matter. Or it could just be the universe playing a practical joke. But despite the mystery, the Great Attractor isn't something we should fear. It's a mystery to be solved, an adventure waiting in the vast expanse of space. So next time you're outside at night, looking up at the stars, remember you're on a journey, a cosmic road trip towards something great. So Bob, if you're watching, the great attractor isn't going to get us, but those leftovers from last month in your fridge might. The reason we can't directly see the great attractor is because of something called the zone of avoidance. And no, that's not the area around your ex at a party. The zone of avoidance is an area of space obscured by the Milky Way's dust and stars. It's like trying to look for your car keys in a room full of fog and disco lights. But just like feeling your way to your keys, scientists have found clever workarounds. We can observe the motion of galaxies and map the gravitational forces at play. It's a bit like knowing there's a party happening next door, because you can see the disco lights and hear the music, but there's this really big, rude wall in the way. The big question is, why are we and many other galaxies getting pulled toward one mysterious spot in the cosmos? Well, a lot of scientists theorize that the Great Attractor could be a huge cluster of galaxies throwing the coolest party in the cosmos. When galaxies get together, they create a gravitational pull stronger than your grandma's famous chocolate chip cookies. Because each galaxy is so massive, the total gravitational force exerted by a cluster of galaxies can be enormous. Einstein proposed that mass and energy warp the fabric of space-time itself, creating what we perceive as gravity. Each galaxy is a massive collection of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter, each part of which warps space-time according to its mass and energy. A galaxy cluster, being composed of many galaxies, is therefore a significant source of mass and energy, so it creates a substantial warp in space-time. This warp, or curve, is what we perceive as gravity. This gravitational force extends across vast distances of space, so it can draw other galaxies towards the cluster. So it's kind of like the Milky Way and its neighboring galaxies are rolling steadily along this curve of space-time, just like cosmic marbles, gradually drawn towards the gravitational valley at its center, the Great Attractor. But that's one theory. Now imagine a celestial object so massive, so dense, that nothing can escape its gravitational pull, not even light. That's a black hole for you. The universe's version of what goes in never comes out. So could the Great Attractor be a monstrous black hole, greedily pulling galaxies toward its insatiable belly? Well, as cool as that sounds, and as much as I'd love to drop a sci-fi thriller plot here, chances are it's not the case. 
Black holes have certain signatures, like intense X-ray emissions, which we haven't detected from the Great Attractor. Plus, a black hole massive enough to pull galaxies would need to be, well, ridiculously massive. We're talking about a cosmic record breaker, and as far as we know, such enormous black holes simply don't exist. Remember, even the supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies are tiny compared to the galaxies themselves. So, until we find evidence of such a mega-massive black hole, the Great Attractor is likely not one. And then, some scientists suggest the Great Attractor can be dark matter, a type of matter that we can't directly see, touch, or taste. It's like the ninjas of the universe, always hiding in the shadows. It doesn't interact with light or ordinary matter, so we can't detect it directly. Instead, we know it's there because of the gravitational effects it has on things we can see, like stars and galaxies. So, the Great Attractor can be made of this elusive stuff. After all, the Great Attractor is pulling us towards it with a gravitational force equivalent to a million billion suns. That's a lot of zeros, folks. And we do know that dark matter clumps together in huge structures, creating massive gravity wells that can influence the movement of galaxies. So, it could be possible that the Great Attractor is one such massive clump of dark matter. What's really important is that the Great Attractor won't destroy us anytime soon. So, we can all breathe a sigh of relief, put down our end is near signs, and tell Bobby can finally get some sleep. But in the grand scheme of things, our journey toward the Great Attractor is a gentle reminder that we are but tiny blips in this cosmic dance. Understanding the Great Attractor can give us insights into the larger structures of the universe and help us understand how galaxies move and interact. Plus, who doesn't love a good cosmic mystery? The universe is vast, filled with mysteries that are waiting to be discovered. And while we may be headed toward this gravitational party, let's remember to enjoy the journey. So next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember, we're all part of a galaxy that's got an invitation to the greatest party in the universe. And we're slowly but surely on our way. Who knows, maybe the Great Attractor is just the universe's way of reminding us to stay attracted to the mysteries of the cosmos. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.